So hi again everyone. So let us now proceed to our second topic for this week, uh, the theory of choice travel B. So it is known as human to human relationship model. So according to travel B, um, human to human relationship is the means through which the purpose of nursing is being fulfilled. So let us, let us talk about the theorist. She was born on 1926 and died on 1973 at the age of 47. She completed her BSN degree at Louisiana State University in 1956. She completed her Master of Science degree in nursing at Yale University in 1959. And she worked as psychiatric nursing instructor at the Paul Hospital Affiliate School in New Orleans and later in Charity Hospital School of Nursing in Louisiana State University, New York University, and the University of Mississippi in 1952. Like other theorists, she was able to publish books and the first book was published in 1966 and 1971 entitled Interpersonal Aspects of Nursing and the second one was published in 1969 um, entitled Intervention in Psychiatric Nursing which focused more on the process in the one-to-one -one relationship. So let us now move on to the major concepts and definitions of travel based uh, theory. Um, actually, she identified the five phases of interaction process. So this is also the concepts being used in her study. The first one is the inaugural meeting or known called uh, original encounter. And the next one is the visibility of personal identities or emerging identities. The third one is empathy fourth one is sympathy and the fifth one is establishing mutual understanding and contact or rapport so each of these phases will be discussed in the next slides so let us see um, how she uh, uh, defined or view original encounter so this is her major concept and ibig sabihin ng original encounter so she described it as the first impression by the nurse of the sick person and the vice versa. Uh, or the impression of the nurse towards the client. Ang tingin ni nurse to her client is just a patient. And the patient um, impression towards the nurse is just the nurse. Okay, And the nurse and the patient see each other in stereotype or traditional roles. Okay. So, in emerging identities, she described it by uh, wherein the nurse and the patient perceive each other as unique individuals. So, nag-move na sila from being, from, uh, from being um, uh, looking at your patient as only a patient and the patient look at the nurse as only a nurse. At this time, uh, the link of relationship begins to form. So, hindi na lang basta-basta nurse-patient lang ang tingin sa isa't isa but there is more deeper okay and uh, another concept here is the empathy so empathy according to travel B she proposed that the two qualities that enhance the empathy process are similarities of experience and desire to understand another person she also described this as the ability to share in the person's experience okay so, it is the result of the empathetic process uh, is the ability to expect the behavior of the individual with whom she or he empathize. So, pag sin in this phase, nagkakaroon na ng, it involves sharing of another psychological state but standing apart and not sharing feelings. Okay. So, here, to simply understand it, um, empathy means is the ability of the nurse to understand the feelings of the patient. So, naintindihan mo lang yung feeling ni patient, but hindi mo pa 
um, naramdaman yung feeling ni patient. You only understand but you did not really feel how does the patient feel. So, this uh, empathy is characterized by the ability to predict the behavior of another. Okay. And another concept or the uh, fourth phase in travel based uh, theory is uh, sympathy. Okay. So, it happens when the nurse wants to lessen the cost of the patient's suffering. So, gusto mong mabawasan yung suffering niya. Okay. It goes beyond empathy. Okay. So, mas deeper to kay sa empathy. When one sympathizes, one is involved but not incapacitated by the involvement. So, ibig sabihin kasi when you sympathize, at this time, um, the nurse has the ability to to take part in someone someone else feeling or the feelings of the of the patient na feel mo kung ano yung na feel niya but you have a uh, medyo mahirap tong step na to you have to know yourself better kasi baka mamaya dahil na feel mo naging emotional ka na rin naging emotional ka na rin at baka mas mauna ka pa sa patient okay okay the nurse should use a disciplined intellectual approach para hindi ka mauna sa patient mo together with therapeutic use of self to make helpful nursing action. Okay. So here, there is a sharing, sharing of feelings and experience, okay, um, of what others are feeling and experiencing, anong nafe-feel ni patient, dito sinishare mo rin kung, um, Ano yung na feel mo as a nurse? So here, this phase actually demonstrate an emotional involvement. Okay. And the second concept, or another concept here, or the last phase, the phase of rapport. So travel be described it as a nursing intervention that lessens the patient's suffering also. The nurse and the sick person are relating as human being to human being. The sick person shows how trust and confidence in in the uh, in the nurse. So meron ng rapport, meron ng na build na relationship doon sa first, second, third and fourth. So meron ng relationship here. So the patient now is confident. Meron na siyang trust to share her feelings to the nurse about what she really of or he feels about her situation. Diba? Limbawa, um, um, ano talaga yung diagnosis sa kanya? Ano yung nafe-feel niya talaga? What other factors that um, that influence yung sa illness niya? Mayroon, ano pa ba yung baka may family problem? May ano pa? Yan, magsishare dyan si um, patient. So here, a nurse is able to establish rapport because she possesses the necessary knowledge and skills required to assist ill uh, persons or patient. And because she is able to perceive, naiisip niya ang needs ni patient, respond to, his she or able to uh, answer the needs of the patient and appreciate the uniqueness of the ill human being. So, it, meaning here, yung... Um, um, establishing rapport is not just based on your own as a nurse, based on your um, own feelings, but it should be based on what you have learned what you have gained knowledge and skills during your uh, practice during your study in, in your BSN program so here um, you should be equipped with knowledge and skills to be able to establish rapport, to be able to respond to the need of the client, to be able to um, have a um, very good or therapeutic communication with your client. So, let us now proceed to the meta paradigm. So, person, so just like other theories, let us view how travel be look at the four major concepts of a theory. So, on person, Travelly identified person as a human being. Okay, both the nurse and the patient are human being. So when you say human being, nila lang, isang nila lang, and unable to uh, uh, have feelings. Okay, human being is a unique. Okay, so unique. We have um, we are unique. 
we are unique in our needs, we are unique in everything, okay? Irreplaceable. So, wala tayong katulad, okay? Even, even the twins, merong differences between them. Who is in a continuous process of becoming, evolving, and changing. So, that is how she looked at a person. And on health. So, according to travel, the health can be measured by subjective and objective health. So, ito yung pag-aaralan din natin. So, sa nursing process, in your assessment, you will assess the objective and the subjective data. So, a person's subjective health status is an individually defined state of well-being in accord with self-appraisal of physical, emotional, spiritual status. Ito yung sinasabi ni patient that how she feels masakit yung pakiramdam ko, um, um, nalulungkot ako. That is an example of a subjective data. Nalulungkot ako, hindi ako makakain, hindi ako makatulog. Yan. And the objective help is the absence of discernible disease, disability, or defect as measured by physical examination, laboratory test, assessment by spiritual director, or psychological counselor. So, pag sinabi natin objective, ito yung nakikita natin. Just like, for example, in the physical examination, nakikita mo yung color ng kanyang eyes, yellowish ang kanyang eyes, na, which were in the normal sclera should be whitish. Well, bakit it, it is yellowish? Maybe my problem about baka may hepatitis yan. Or in the laboratory test, napakataas ng WBC that ma there might be a presence of infection. Okay? Spiritual director, meron din silang tools. Just like the psychological counselor, may tool din sila to assess. There is an objective data. So, subjective, ito lang yung sinasabi. Sinasabi ni patient na hindi mo talaga nakikita with your eyes. Pag sinabi natin objective, it can be seen with your eyes, you can smell, you can use the five senses para makita mo yun. So, mag magagamit mo yung five senses mo to get the objective help. And on environment, so, um, travel B, um, travel B's definition on environment is not actually clear, but in this theory, but she defined human conditions and life experiences encountered by all men as sufferings. Could be a suffering, could be hope, pain, and illness. These conditions are associated to the environment. So, illness, according to her, is a category and classification that could be a both objective and subjective criteria. So, again, for the objective criteria, are determined by the outward effects of illness on the individual. While objective criteria, it refers to the way in which a human being perceives himself or herself as ill. Okay. Diba again, perceive, iniisip, subjective criteria, iniisip ni patient na may sakit ako. Ah, masakit ang ulo ko. Nakikita mo ba kung gano'ng kasakit ang ulo niya? Hindi mo makikita. Um, nahihilo ako. Hindi mo rin mamemeasure yon kung paano siya nahihilo. Nalulungkot ako. Hindi ako makatulog. So, yun yung sinasabi as verbalized by the client. So, that is your subjective. Suffering is a feeling of displeasure with, uh, which ranges from simple uh, transitory mental, physical, or spiritual discomfort to extreme anguish and to those phases beyond anguish namely the malignant phase of despairful not caring at all and the terminal phase of apathetic indifference pag meron na tong terminal phase ay talagang um, hindi mo talaga na makakausap yung patient or may kakaiba na talaga siyang ginagawa okay and on pain. So, pain itself is not observable. You cannot, you cannot observe pain. Only its effects are noted. Okay, paano mo makikita yung um, hindi siya maka-work, maka hindi siya makabangon. So, yan. The experience of pain is unique to each individual. So, we have different perception of pain. We have different level of pain. Pwede um, yung uh, 
threshold mo ng pain, pwedeng mababa ang threshold mo, pwedeng sobrang taas ang pain ano mo. Although, same lang sana kayo ng stage ng pain, pero iba yung feeling mo for that pain. So, we have different perception or experience on pain. And hope is a mental state characterized by the desire to gain an end or accomplish a goal combined with some degree of expectation that what is desired or sought in attainable. It is related to dependence on others, choice, wishing, trust, and perseverance, and courage, and is future-oriented. So, hope. Ito yung tinitingnan naman natin in the future. Meron tayong pag-asa. And as a nurse, you can help, you can help the client to have hope. But do not give false hope again. On nursing, she defined nursing as an interpersonal process. So, it's a relationship. Whereby the professional nurse practitioner assist an individual, the family, or the community to prevent or cope with experience of illness and suffering, and if necessary, to find meaning in these experiences. So, you are there to assist. You are there to... Uh, 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 there should be an, a relationship between you and the nurse. Of course, nurse-patient relationship. A therapeutic relationship between you and the, and the patient. Okay. So, here, meron lang siyang diagram on, on the following. Or the faces. Saan nag-start ang face natin here? Is the, from the original encounter. As you can see, yung nurse and patient relationship here, napakalayo pa nila. Diba? Napakalayo pa nila because they are stranger to each other. They don't know yet with each other. Yung view nila sa isa't isa, the first impression, andun pa, medyo malayo. In the emerging identities, ito na, med medyo may konting connection, medyo may lumapit-lapit na, kasi na-identify nyo na yung uniqueness with, with each other, medyo nagkakilala na kayo. In the empathy, ayan, medyo malapit-lapit na kayo, because this time, the nurse understand the feelings of the patient. And in sympathy, nakita nyo, medyo overlapping na yung uh, relationship here. Kasi here, the nurse is trying to put herself in the shoes of her patient. Okay. So, she now understands. She can not only understand at this time, but she can feel how the patient feels on her or his present um, situation. Okay. And in the report, talagang close na si, they're like one na talaga si patient. Ano mag-asawa? So, hindi naman. But of course, you know each other. Meron ng trust, meron ng confidence. Meron ng sharing of feelings, sharing of experiences. So, that actually ends this presentation. And I'd like to, I'd like you to watch this um, short video clip. I have to uh, play it for a while. Okay. Just wait for a while. So, my connection. I need to connect my In Actually, it's a 20 minutes video, so I think I will just um, uh, insert the link in the canvas for this because it's a 20 minutes video, so it's up to you if you want to uh, watch this one. Pero better watch it, at least uh, you will learn something from this. Okay, so let me end this presentation by um, reading this quote. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Sino ba siya? True God. So, um, always pray and do your best. So, again, God bless.